Hey guys, so I had some questions on how you can take your own image and uh, turn it into a decal or a multi-layered cut file that you can then use to uh, cut out for permanent vinyl or HTV or whatever, however you want to layer it. Okay, um, I'm going to show you how you can do this without having to use any fancy um, graphic design software like Illustrator or uh, Inkspace or anything like that. This is just nice and basic for you guys. You don't need to do anything special. Um, I will preface this by saying I do prefer <laughs> personally to use a graphic design program uh, only because it gives you the most capabilities into what you can actually do. And this process is going to take a little bit longer than what I normally do in like a Photoshop editing program. Um, but it is possible. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. Okay two different methods that we can do this and I think depending on your project the best way is to use a combination of these two methods okay so the easiest method is to use a converter website so um, there's a website called png to svg.com and if you head over here and upload your file okay and when you generate your initial image it's gonna take some time. Okay, so it gave us an image, but like we're not very happy with this because for example, we don't even want this duo-toned leaf that's going on here. And he's got kind of like a double chin and there seems to be some streaking as well going on here. So um, we're gonna clean it up a bit and we can do that by adjusting the colors in our palette here um, by telling this program like what colors we need. So I'm gonna grab my dropper tool and highlight that there. I'm gonna grab this and highlight his face. I'm gonna grab this and highlight this darker green leaf. And this and grab the lighter green leaf. And just make sure this brown is the correct brown that we've got going on here. Okay, and let's regenerate that. Okay, so that's looking a lot better, right? Um, we've got our core colors here, so we've got the sloth, his eyes, the branch, and the leaves. Um, so that's looking really good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and download this, and we're going to head over to our Cricut Design Space and upload that image. And when we load that image in, it's got all these different cut files. Uh, laid out here, but we got to clean this up a bit. So I'm going to center that so we can see that better. I'm going to hide that layer because that's just the background. Actually, we can delete that one. And then we've got our leaves here. So that's half of the dark green one, that's half of the light green one. Okay, and that's cool. And yeah, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit contour and I'm gonna clean this up a bit. So you'll notice there's all these like little stray lines and it's basically noise here, okay? So I'm gonna hide all the contours and just select the ones that, um, that we're gonna work with here, which is these two top pieces here. And I'm just going to go through and check each of the layers as well to make sure there's no um, other pieces there that has all that noise. So let's take a quick look. Yep, this one's got some, so we're going to hide all contours. And I'm just going to highlight these two. All right, and I'm going to do one more thing because I want to see his face. So I am going to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to back, go back to contour. I'm going to select just his face, so make sure only that one's highlighted. I'm going to change this to white. And then let's drag that below our image here. And there we go. So now when we go to make it, we should have all our layers here. Perfect. And if you want the, the leaf, just be one color because it's easier that way. <laughs> you can try to go to color sync here, drag those together. And I'm actually going to weld them together so that they're one color. That makes it a little bit easier. 
And now we just have the leaf layer and all our other layers here. Awesome. Um, so now one more thing. I'm going to show this in another video um, where I actually show you how to layer HTV, for example. Um, but when you go to cut this, one thing you could do by saving some, I guess, cutting time, uh, you could drag everything into one color. I'm going to show you really quickly here. Drag everything into one color. And then when you go to make it, what you can do is rearrange everything on your mat so that you can save some space. So I'm going to grab the face. That's one color, right? That's the white. I'm going to put that down there. I'm going to grab the leaves up here. I'm going to grab him, put him in a box. Cool. And now I'm going to go and cut out like a brown piece of HTV and uh, make sure it is four by, what is this? Eight? Yeah, four by eight. I'm going to cut out another square that is four by seven. Uh, this looks like it's three by three and so on. And then I'm going to, I'm going to just put each of those on the mat as laid out here. Um, and that'll save you some cutting time. So you don't have to load multiple mats. You can just have one mat with all of the different HTV here. Um, so yeah, take a look at my next video. I will set it to play after this one. So you can see what I'm talking about a little bit better. Um, but that is a nice trick that you can do if you want to save some cutting time. All right. Now, the next method I'm going to show you um, is, well, it takes a little, quite a bit longer, but it'll give you a little bit more control um, in that, like, if this doesn't work for you, so for example, if you are going to this website and the cards are not coming out the way you want it, or if you just don't want to use a converter website and you'd rather just, you know, work with Cricut Design Space, then this other method will work for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to upload and you're going to upload the image directly into Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to hit complex so I can see everything. And here what you're going to do is you're going to start erasing pieces, okay? And basically what you're going to do is isolate each piece on its own. So I'm going to delete these, for example. And let's say I only want the dark brown here. So I'm basically going to erase everything that is not dark brown. I'm going to clean that up using my eraser tool here. And if you hit preview, you can take a look and see what you're missing. So for example, I look, I can't see this, this leaf outline when I'm, when I'm doing it, but when you, uh, when you hit preview, it'll actually show you what you're missing here. So I can erase that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna skip through this because this is a lot of work, but um, you get you kind of get the point. So you're gonna do that for every single layer, and then basically what you're going to have are your different layers here. So I have a green layer, I have my dark brown layer, and I have my um, my lighter brown layer. And you're gonna load those in to Cricut Design Space once you have those isolated. I'm gonna change the colors here so I can see them a little better. And if you hit the advanced button here, you can like lighten the colors up Sorry, not. and there we go so yeah you can see this looks a little bit different than the other one but that's only because um, I had a little bit more control over some of the colors that I wanted to use here so I was able to make this part green as well and I think you can do that with with the SVG program you have to play around with the colors a little bit but this is another method that may give you something cleaner than the SVG uh, converter okay so play around with the different methods um, depending on your project and see what works for you but here is how you can do it without a design program which is awesome <laughs> So yeah, let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it um, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.